Lan treni yatır olduğunu biliyor muydunuz? Ben de bilmiyordum ama bir tanesi yetmez mi? Şimdi bir de ikincisi çıktı. Aşağıdan videoya like atıp kanala abone olduysanız şimdi videoya geçelim. Evet şimdi başladık bir Flat Dale adında bir abimiz terk edilmiş bir metro istasyonunun platformunu durmuş. Abi bir dakika senin terk edilmiş metro istasyonuna ne işin var Bılat abi? Ve direkt trainator odumun gözünün önünden geçiyor. As it passed the platform, the monster slowed down. The train's eyes narrowed, and it's now stretched out in the window of one of the cars. Let so his girlfriend knocked on the glass and screamed. He rushed after the train, but he was thrown back by a stream of air, and the train either went into the darkness, taking his alibi, his cream. And suddenly woke up. It was just a dream. It was telling him that he should not go back to the place where he had lost his girlfriend. And where he had lost his girlfriend. But a few hours later, Vlad and three other people stood at the entrance to the abandoned mattress station. He hadn't been here for a year since the train eater had stolen his fiance. And now Vlad was here again. Ve treni yitir, o kızı kaçırmış. Şimdi bizim adam da arkadaşlarla beraber bu terk edilmiş metroya geldi ve treni yitirden kız arkadaşını kurtarmaya çalışacak. Bakalım nasıl olacak ben de merak ediyorum. Here we go, Vlad promised himself that he would never come down here again. But his three wealthy friends offered him money that he could just have used. Adam, bir yıl önce ben buraya evden gelmeyeceğim diye söz vermiş. So he had to ask his friends for money. He said, "Come on, come 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 on, Bakın şuradaki mermerler şeye benziyor. Trinitor'ın gözüne benziyor. And began to whisper to each other. Then one of the guys turned to Vlad and told him that they were ready to pay his double if he would take them to another station. Arkadaşları tekrar demiş ki, bak kanka biz buraya girmeyelim. Yani Trinitor'ın yanına gitmeyelim. Bir sana iki katı para veren demişler. Ama bu adam yine kabul etmiyor. Aa, evet değil mi? They walked slowly along the rails. Aa, evet tamam. Kabul etmedi adam. Şimdi hepsi birlikte direkt raylara indiler ve raylara sonra tüm düz diyorlar. Vlad was trying to calm his friends down as much as he could. But they were so happy that they couldn't contain themselves. Arkadaşları niye mutlu lan? A few minutes later, the rails suddenly began to tremble. Vlad raised his hand to ask his friends to be quiet. A train was driving in that direction, and it sounds more dangerous than loud. We get around, shouted Vlad, and everyone started running along the rails. Their flashlights were lighting up the tunnel in front of them. Vlad was running in front of everyone, and he was going so fast that he didn't notice an obstacle in front of him. He crashed into something hard and bumped back. Everyone else stopped too. Their flashlights were pointed at the rails in front of them, and they saw an old train. It was a train that was moving. And the friends heard that the train that was moving started to slow down. Vlad and his friends looked at the approaching train in fear. It was a train, and at first glance it looked as any other train. Vlad took a few steps forward, and the group saw a strange driver in the train. His arms were spread wide at the sides, and he didn't have a mask. Vlad tried to count their phones and started taking pictures of the train. Someone even suggested getting inside and taking a ride. At that moment, the red train suddenly started trembling. And the group saw giant teeth appear, and eyes opening on each other's sides. Oh, the bullets hit them! Oh, the transformation was complete. Vlad and his friends were lost. 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 Vlad and his friends were
Iris screamed in horror. Ve evet, herkes şimdi korkmaya başladı. The blue train that was blocking the Ve path. Bizimkiler mavi trenin içine girip saklanacaklar. They jumped into the train. Kapılar nasıl açıldı? Abi terk edilmiş yerlerde bu bu tren ne iş var ya? The train was looking at them through the glass. Treni yitirdi, onlara doğru bakıyor hala. Then it started trembling and moving backwards. Uh -huh. So everyone thought that the train was leaving to wherever he had come from. He felt embarrassed that he had not seen it there in this place. He and lit his way with a flashlight. He started to notice the clothes, bags, a telephone. And even toys lying around the train. Şimdi terk edilmiş bir tren istasyonunda terk edilmiş bir tren de bu oyuncakların, bu eşyaların bu trende ne iş var? Oh, şimdi diğer modelleri var. Bu hayvanların iskeletleri var. Yani ölmüş hayvanlar. Vlad turned back and ran to his friends. Çoktan o trenin içine girdi ve artık çıkışıyor. Yeni bir trenin içine girdi. Yani mavi bir trenin içine girdi. Vlad started kicking the door as hard as he could. Ondan da çığlık atmış. And it opened slightly. Aha kapıyı açtı. So he grabbed its edges with both hands. And the train swore turned into an unsteady swamp that his friends were drowning in. Bob's hand was taken out of the swamp when it was slowly sinking down. The rest of his body was already inside. Steve was stuck up to his very nose and was trying to lift his head up to inhale. But only a few seconds later, Vlad saw him disappear. Iris was holding on to the edge of the window and begging for help. She was already ways deep into the strange swamp. Vlad gave her his hand and started pulling her hand as hard as he could. But strange tentacles started to come out of the swamp and pulling the girl down. And some of the tentacles were even almost touching Vlad. He focused and pulled Iris super hard and managed to get her out. They fell down on the floor. And even though tamam, Iris was very scared, oldu. she was alive. Suddenly, the lights inside the train lit up, and it started moving. Vlad noticed that the train's floor was solid, and now the strange building in which the driver had appeared. Now he was certain that they were inside, and not the train either. And it was going somewhere super fast. Vlad and Iris started trying to open one of the doors or a window, but nothing worked. Suddenly, they saw the red train. They saw the fog on the rails. It was going towards them at a high speed. It was going to crash into them. Iris came back to his senses. And said that if the train was alive and had a mouth, then it also needed to have something on the other end for the food to come out. Vlad thought that was very yucky to think about. He didn't really want to climb out through the monster's back door. Then the blue train gave a whistle, and the red train did too. They were about to crash soon. Iris and Vlad ran to the end of the train, trying to open different doors. Fortunately, the train wasn't too long, and in a few moments, they were already in the last carriage, at the end of which there really was a small door. They stepped back and then ran on the count of three. They knocked out train leader's back door with their shoulders and fell out to the rails. At that moment, two train leaders crashed into each other. Iris and Vlad heard grinding of metal and saw sparks come out from under the wheels of the train. Vlad realized they were close to a station. Look, this train's face is red. He got up and got back. 
to the marble floor. Aha, şu anda gel başladık geri geri dönmüşler. They ran across the platform and so that the blue train, the one they jumped Oo! out of, was slowly going back. His driver Mavi cabin was really crashed and there were tears coming out of his eyes. The other train was approaching him. It was also crashed, but not as much. When the two monsters were facing each other, the red train got up high in the air like a huge caterpillar and crashed the blue train where Ponsti died with all its weight. The crash train started trembling and then stood The monster who won let out a loud celebratory scream. Eyes were looking at Ponsti's dad who were standing on the station where they were safe. The train made a louder sound and went back to Vlad looked into the darkness and then started walking on back to the town. Still thinking about the death of Paul and Steve, whose bodies would now stay inside the train. Hey, şimdi bizim adamın kız arkadaşı öldü. Sonra bizim adamın arkadaşları öldü. Mavi tren yitirdi de öldü. Tren animasyonunu gerçekten beğendim. Olan Paul ve Steve oldu. Sonsuza kadar tren yenilerin içinde kalacakmış. Onlara şimdi bu videoya like atmayı unutmayın. Aşağıdan da abone olduysanız o zaman söz veririz. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşçakalın.